Tommy, Dave, I can only imagine after the uh, joy of Tuesday night that that's a bit of a come down. Yeah, it was. I think for 30 minutes, I think we were in a game of football. We looked we looked capable. We looked like we were standing toe to toe with them. And then obviously they scored the goal. Um, and I think at half time we said to the boys, you know, it looks as though you're happy we've just been 1 0 down. We need a bit more. And then. I don't think we turned up to be fair, second half. I don't think we were in a game at all other than Clayton McDonald's header that the keeper tips over the bar. I don't think we've really tested him, we haven't anticipated any knockdowns. I think they were second but they were first and second balls all day. Um, and they set up with a game plan and they stuck to it and you, you can see the quality and that's why they're at the end of that table. Is it a case of uh, what if, if things have been different, if different players have been available, if different players have been available to play? Well, they're not available to play, so it's it's completely it's completely irrelevant. Um, you know, Ben Milne's only been fit enough for the bench. Um, we've had a bit of good news because Anton reckons he'll be fit for next weekend. But obviously Ben Ahanlu obviously missing again today. But today wasn't a game that was won off individuals not playing. Today was won because they wanted it and they made it happen. I think their determination, especially in the second half, and how resilient they were, won them the game. And, it's hard work, you know, their left back, absolutely built like a tank, up and down, up and down, all day long. Um, and that kind of mentality, that, that's the difference, that's what gets you at the right end of the league. It looked like there was a couple of players falling down, it just maybe weren't strong enough. If we found this, this, this whole league very, very difficult, <laughs> stronger teams, stronger personalities, is, is, are you finding that yourself, the fact that the step up has been more difficult than anticipated? Football's a physical game, you know, that's 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 part and parcel of it. So we only have the lads two evenings a week. So, you know, Clarkie will preach to the boys all the time. You know, you have to you have to have a bit of personal pride, you have to go and put the hours in, in the gym. Some do. And I think it clearly shows that not enough are in our team. Um, but these lads that we're coming against, the season pros, like they, they that's why that's why they're Harrogate, because Harrogate's a big football club and they pay top money. So Harrogate bring good players to their football club and they're there for a reason. Dave, coming to you, obviously it uh, gives you a chance now, you've seen a couple of games uh, that Corby have been involved with um, and of course you've been there training as well. Eh? Everything happy with you, that third goal this afternoon, a mistake more than anything. Yeah, uh, bad, a bad mistake by all accounts, um, but that's football and you need, to, you need to act upon that and stay in the game. Um, I think their second goal was well worked, although we, we switched off to that. And uh, yeah, they're a good team. They're, they're a very good team. They, um, they work hard for each other and they're well drilled. Um, something we need to work on. We need to work on, as, like, personally, from, um, from the players' point of view, they need to work on being men and being strong and doing their own work, like we said earlier. Um, it's very important to come and play semi-professional football at this standard and to not look after yourself is unforgivable for me. You've got to um, you've got to come here, you've got to do your work, and then you've got to come and be a footballer and be at this decent level. Tommy, FA Trophy next weekend is that a distraction? Is that a good thing, or is it going to be just another difficult game with a team like Tamworth? It's another game of football, mate. That, that's that's basically that's that's it for me. It's another tough game of football um, that means a great deal to the fans which means a great deal to us because at the minute we need any game of football to correct your previous results so we wanted a game today because we were off the back of the back of a high now you need another game of football because we want to put that right and like I say for 35 minutes today the second half we, we threw in the towel and that was us three four weeks ago that's not what we've that's that's almost two spaces for one step back and that was that was a disappointing one for me today so Big game again next Saturday, cup football. Like, can, can we now go on a little run in the trophy? Can we finish the kind of the league? Is that success this year? I think a lot of people will take it, so we need to go on and, and put on a show next Saturday. And as you said, injury list getting longer, but Anton Brown hopefully back next week. will show a little bit more determination in the middle of the park and hopefully get those balls spreading out to the players that can do something in front of goal. Yeah, I think you know, Anton's a phenomenal presence. We've, we've missed that in the middle of the, in the midfield. You know. Danny Draper stepped in. Danny's getting better and better each, each game he plays, but the reality is he's still 17 years old. So Danny Draper was no 
nowhere near the worst player on his pitch today. To be fair to the kid, I think he grown into the game and kept out the ball. But Anton Brown is six foot four, uh, hundred games at a high level. We need that kind of player on the pitch at the minute. So Anton will bring us that. Um, and even having Ben Hanlon back, a natural side left left back, he's, he's been a revelation since he came on home. So two big players for us really that we need to be back in. And then after that, it's back on with the league and what will be a very, very difficult December. Yeah, you know, obviously the meeting away and then the double header, to be fair, like lower stuff to Brackley. It's going to be big games. I think if you look at the league table now, we uh, we need to be picking up points in them games. And, uh, Brackley lost, of course, this afternoon. They are actually slipped the lowest in the league, but even so, you can't, you can't look at that and think it's going to be easy because they've played less games than everybody else. Exactly, I think Brackley played three less games than us, I think, I believe. So, it is what it is at the minute. We just need to get points on the board. Um, two wins in the last four now. Um, we need to keep keep um, keep like, producing them kind of results. Uh, we need wins on the board, we need points on the board. I'd rather have points on the board than the games at the minute because I don't think it's as easy as going, oh, we've got two games now and we'll go and get three points. It's not It's not as plain sailing as that. So we've just got to look after ourselves, go and get a couple more wins before the new year. I think it takes us in with a little bit of confidence uh, to go and finish the second half of the season correctly. Tommy, Dave, thanks very much. Thanks,